I need a pair of ears to wear. I got a purple pair and I got all these. This may take longer than I thought. Hi everybody, my name's Meg and welcome to Megla is a Geek, where we geek out about everything Disney, Star Wars, Marvel, and a few other things. We are talking about official Disney ears today. I actually don't have that many compared to a lot of people or channels, but I have a few. I usually make my own ears because I get a little particular about them. And this is how they, I literally put... One here, one here, one here. That way they're not all on kind of on top of each other, but they hang on these shower circle, shower curtain hanger things. And they just hang off a closet thing for me. So, yeah. So how do you guys organize your ears? Or do you have them hanging up or on the wall? Or Please tell me because I know nothing and this is just one thing I thought of like at six in the morning. I feel like I need to be wearing ears now. So we're going to start off with um, some plain colored ears. So here are the lavender ears. The bow not being like completely perfect and I'm horrible at making bows anyway. But it's just a little problematic for me. But I love this lavender color. It's beautiful. Is it lavender or lilac? But look at it sparkle! So, yeah. so feel free to like this video, comment down below what is your favorite pair of ears or ear twins of any kind, or once again, how you how you organize or display your ears, because this is the only way I knew how not to put them in a box. So these are some emerald ears. They are so shiny. They're beautiful. Last St. Patrick's Day, I forgot that I had these, and so I didn't wear them. Because somebody, um, when I was doing errands for my job, they go, I'm surprised you're not wearing di green Disney ears. And I was like, I don't think I own any. I was wrong, because an hour later, I remember I owned these. So since I have the Jungle Book stuff on the shirt, it says Baloo and Aguirre's tra Trading Post. So we'll wear these. Uh, next to the, just the plain colors is the Wishes Ears. They're a beautiful shade of blue. Um, I got these because I'm a big fan of the K-pop group Super Junior, and this is about the shade of blue that their fandom wears. So, I had to get me a couple. Give me some. So, those are my, I consider those my K-pop ears. Now, let's see. Completely random. Don't belong in any kind of organization. Um, these are the Great Britain Epcot ears. I actually went to Disney World and couldn't actually find these. So I believe these came from Magic at Your Door because I really wanted a pair and I couldn't find them at Disney World. But yes, look at, I love them. And I got these lounge fly ears and they are ghost Mickey and they do glow in the dark. I love glow in the dark stuff. So I was so happy when I got these. I do not have the backpack to match. I kind of want it, but it's one of those things like it was never in the budget. So Little Mermaid's my favorite Disney princess. So these I had to have. Look at these. They're so sparkly and shiny. And I love the scale look to them. These are beautiful. I think these has a dingle hopper on the side. I actually like the bow because it's little clamshells. They're so cute. So yay. <laughs> and these are the ones I really wanted for my first ever Disney trip. I specifically, I really wanted them from Magic at Your Door when I, before I went to Disney. And they have that scaly look on the bow. Maybe these are the anniversary ones. I don't know. I'm wrong. I know I am. So I'm not going to pretend like I am. Like I'm right at all. But I love these. They got the clamshell ears. It says mermaid hair. Don't care. And a little mermaid on the side. 
So I love these. I wore these on my first day at Magic Kingdom in September 2020. This is the first official pair of Disney ears that I bought when we went to Disney. Um, we went to a World of Disney. We did Disney Springs the day before we went to a new park. And these were the Haunted Mansion ears that I really wanted. So I love it because you got the little sign cameo thing. You got this velvety bow and the embroidery work. Is it embroidery? Or maybe. But I love the detail work of the wallpaper on the ears. These are gorgeous. Kind of wish this tag was somewhere else. But I haven't quite gotten up the nerve to cut the tags yet. But yeah. I love my Haunted Mansion ears. This is another pair. I actually walked by these at Disney World a few times and did not buy them. They were on Jalugo Magic at Your Door's shop. And I had to have them. This glows in the dark. So I love it. Like the glow in the dark. I'm a sucker for things that glow in the dark. But yay. I actually had two pairs of these. I gave it to my friend Stacy so she can wear on our Disney trip. So, yeah. These have, anything that glows in the dark has to be in a different room from the room I sleep in. Because anything that glows or emits a light will keep me awake. I prefer sleeping in the darkness. These, last but not least, are the Minnie Mouse main attraction Haunted Mansion ears. They've got this little, like, veil thing going on in the back. <laughs> But look how smudged they sparkle. They're gorgeous. You got Leo, Madame Leota there and some lovely flowers. I love this. Although my hair is really long, so this isn't going to bother me. So Once again, all, I haven't cut tags off of much. And long receipt we did not need. Long tag we did not need. But I love these ears. I will probably never take the tags off these. But so hard to love. So those are my ears. Short video, I know. Um, so once again, comment down below if you have any of the same ears or which one was your favorite. Have a great day. And don't forget, always stay geeky. Bye.